are you doing? Movies. I thought it was organised. Huh. Not organised. Those kids organised. <sighs> How are you guys going today? Uh, what is today? It is the... Oops, turn the sound off on that. Uh, it is the... Good question. Saturday the 16th. How's your day been? Um, I can tell you one thing, Kathy's uh, <laughs> caught up on the videos. <laughs> well, ones with me in any way. <laughs> uh, okay, so hang on, I want to zoom that up. That was going negative. So, um, no, that's just gone too big. Okay, so there they are. Okay, yep, there we go. I was catching up. Oh, got them all now. Um, yeah, Kathy's caught up with uh, all this, all the videos, which is quite quite funny. <laughs> There's a lot of reading there, Kathy, and I'll, I'll only respond to the top bits because <laughs> I haven't read them yet. So yeah, today. Uh, Nathan went camping today. I didn't go with him. I turned around and went, no, I'm not going. I think I meant that last night that he was going. Uh, so, cook dinner. His dinner is now going to take away from Tana and he'll take that to work. And uh, Bo is like a little bit confused. Because oh, when, when we sit and eat dinner, he sits at the mat near the back door, which is right near the kitchen table, our dining table. And um, he's cooked dinner, and I've sat down and started eating it. And then he's 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 on the he's on the couch, sitting on his cushion, on the couch. Turns around, takes a look at me, like he's say hello. You're gonna sit? Are you gonna sit down? No. Or are you just gonna stand there? Where's Nathan? Where's Nathan? Where is he? Yeah, he's not happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, could, he basically he suddenly realised that I was sitting at the, at the table eating dinner. So he's bolted and run around the house looking for Nathan. And then he's ended up sitting on the mat next to me because he's realised that Nathan's not home. So now he's going to be a lost soul and he'll walk around for a little while to try to walk while he's um, while pondering why Nathan is not here. But yeah, he'll get over it. Uh, Nathan's due home tomorrow. Um, what did I do today? I actually, I left the house and it wasn't for work. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't chuckle, but we, I needed to, I had to go and get my, normally I'll tell Nathan on the way home, you know, to stop and grab this, to stop and grab that. Uh, but this time he he wasn't here and I needed milk, so I had to go. So I ventured a little bit further than uh, my local shopping centre. I did actually end up at Spotlight. Now I'm not sure if somebody else from the US and Australia. We go. I go to a place called Spotlight. Um, I think it's a probably a, equivalent to. Joanne's or Michael's, I'm not 100% sure. You get all all your craft supplies, but you also get stuff, party supplies, or got haberdashery, um, kitchen stuff. It, it's really good, really good spot to go. So um, anything for the house, from, I don't mean, mean to be generalised, but from a female perspective. Um, but yeah. Today was the first time I've gone to Spotlight since um, all these restrictions have been put in place. And oh my goodness. Normally I my furthest away I park my car is probably about three or four cars from the door. But they were that busy that I actually had to go searching for a car park. So yeah. Very, very unusual. I was amazed at how busy it was. And then 
I was amazed there was women with the, obviously their boyfriends or partners in tow <laughs> going around with them. I don't know whether that was just so that they wanted that was something for them to do to get out of the house, or whether they just didn't want to let their uh, let the missus out of the house uh, spending money. I don't know. One, two, oops. Yeah, I think. Hang on. Nope. That one there. That one there. Let's get these in line. Oh uh, yeah, so I went to Spotlight, did a little bit of a little bit of retail therapy, um, got my got more material glue. What else I got? Oh, I got some something really cool. Hang on, which in preparation. Hang on, I need a little camera. In preparation for when it's not gonna focus okay now it comes a big one so this here let's see if i can get it focused on there so that's actually a wire so that's silver and i've got gold as well when one of the sophie and toffee boxes arrives it has uh uv it's got uv resin dipping dipping resin which is sounds really cool uh, I have seen people use it. I have heard people commenting that the wire that's supplied is too thick. So um, I saw it there and I um, thought, well, I'll grab that while I'm here. Might, might prove useful. So I grabbed the gold and the silver. So I'll wait for that one to um, happen. Um, is there anything else? Oh, an ice cream scoop, a proper ice cream scoop. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that was my little outing there, and then I went to the shops and grabbed just some some milk. Otherwise, I wasn't going to have coffee in the morning. I imagine would be cranky for me not going out and getting out just to get milk. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. So that was it for the day of me leaving the house. But today, without Nathan at home at all, hang on, I've just flung a drill. Without Nathan at home today to make noise, it's been a really good day. I have restarted, so I'm doing an, a fresh filming for uh, the cushion cover, making a cushion cover out of Darling Tammy without Zoe. Uh, so I've started that. So let's hopefully this one won't fall apart on me. It's not that it fell apart, it was more that I put too much stuff in there. <laughs> you know, just went overboard that way too much with the filling inside the cushion, which is why it didn't work. Uh, so I started that and I have recorded the first episode, or the first bit of the uh, journey of my um, cruise that I did from Copenhagen up Norway to Lerwick to the Faroe Islands to Iceland and then back. So I recorded the first one and oh my gosh the, the difference. Now you guys have heard, I've done it you've heard me with the South African trip, you've heard me with the um, Egypt trip, and then um, well, you'll hear me soon with the the chip with the European cruise. My, I think I, I realised while I was doing when I finished today's recording that I um I don't think I really enjoyed my Egypt trip because there was so much just for me to talk about the starting of the trip on my first you know basically only Copenhagen and then just getting onto the cruise ship it I took for more than an hour and then yet when I did the Egypt one I could I don't know I just went through so much of that but 
that they came in the freezers. No. <laughs> no. 16, 13. 16. 2006, 16, 2007. Um, the cruise is quite wide as those, but I can remember so much detail, so much detail of that cruise. I loved it. Um, and hopefully the passion and the enjoyment comes across to you guys to enjoy because that was, oh God, I'm reliving those memories. Um, for those of you that haven't seen this on my channel, go back. Um, I do have two different travel stories, one where I did South Africa um, with Nathan and one where I went to Egypt a couple of years ago by myself. And the one that I'm talking about now is I went to quite a few years ago, but I have some magnificent photos from it, um, which was a cruise. Um, yeah, it's just going to give you a little bit more, um, how do I put it, a little bit more something to listen to. Um, you know, because with what we do, we sit there and it is very solitary. So sharing stories is part of part of this craft or part of being a YouTube creator for people. Uh, I can show people how I do things, what I do, but I also want to entertain people and you know, give you a reason why to listen to me every now and then. Um, so yeah, I've got that recorded. That's going to take a fair amount of editing. Um, the recording is, just, it's all just one recording, but the editing is, for, for, if for those that aren't aware, you know, the editing is I actually have to, so I've done the recording, so now while I'm, while I'm editing it, I've got to listen to what I'm saying and hopefully try and put, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully put the right pictures in the right place. And then there's bits where I've talked about and I've got to make sure that they actually, uh, well, that I actually have the picture for it. Um, yeah. And then obviously while I'm editing, I'm there going, oh heck, I missed, didn't mention this, I didn't mention that. So there's other things that I didn't mention. Um, even now I can say like today, I recorded the, recorded the first, the section from choosing or deciding to go to actually getting on the, just getting on the cruise ship. Um, I can already say that, well, I can already remember there were some bits that I haven't included, um, which I'll have to add on to my first, my, my next uh, recording. So yeah, that's, um, well, that was today, a pretty uh, interesting day. Uh, what else, nothing else, it's all quiet. So what I will do is now tackle those comments <laughs> that I haven't responded to yet. Um, so we'll go, okay, so what have we got? Kathy, Kathy, hang on, there's before Kathy. Um, so Pauline, all quiet here in Jin. Jindavik, Victoria. We haven't had, we have not had a new case of COVID nineteen in our shire since March fifth. But our state capital, Melbourne, is not doing so good with a couple of small outbreaks. Yeah, yeah, Melbourne's not doing so good. Um, Queensland, Northrop, Hampton as well with the nursing home. That was that was horrible one there as well. So hopefully everybody's okay there. But yeah, you, Melbourne or Victoria, um, for those who are not aware, so you've got um, states that Austra with Australia, you've got all these different states. So I'm in Western Australia. Pauline is in Victoria. Um, who have I got? Someone, oh, Tracy, I think you're in Queensland. Um, so I've got people I know all over all over Australia, but quick, so Victoria's down uh, south east. Victor, uh, that's Victoria south east. Uh, Queensland is north east, and WA is the whole west coast. There's a few other states around, um, but 
So if I was in Queensland, <laughs> I want to get to Queensland. If I could get, if I was in Queensland, I'd be able to get my nails done. Because <laughs> in Queensland, they've lifted some of the restrictions, and you can go and get your nails done. WA still hasn't those got those restrictions lifted, but we're now allowed to um, go out and well, not just go out, just we're able to go to a restaurant. So there's a limit of. 20 people or 10 people per venue um, so you do have the ability to actually go out now mind you do have to book to get in um, whereas Victoria Victoria won't be getting its restrictions lifted uh, or won't be get being advised of any restrictions I think that's not until the end of May so that's um, now what two three weeks away still but then I I really respect the fact that Victoria I think they called for people to volunteer for testing and in amongst all that they actually did pick up some additional cases that they weren't even aware of the cluster of where it was so you know it was really good um, I look at WA WA has said oh we're good source we're doing good uh, contact tracing and you know we're getting we're able to tr we're tracking down everybody but uh, just I get a bit nervous about that we've got the lowest ratio of COVID tests per um, per person per per, per, per capita uh, and that's I don't like that like I wish our, our testing rates were higher mine WA is a very very vast Fast state, but yeah, um, there's a little bit of a rundown of different some of the different states. Okay, so now Tassie Devil, so Tassie Devil, Tasmania, so that's right down the bottom. That's actually an island, a big island, but yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tassie's just spent forty bucks on wool and. Twenty dollars in miscellaneous craft because she started crocheting a dinghy for her daughter and son's birthday in May in June. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, <laughs> it's amazing when you start crafting stuff and then it's like, oh, I need this, I need this, and I need this, and yeah, spotlight got me today. Spotlight got me today. So it's all good. Um. I will say, Tazzy, I don't know whether I'll be sharing pics. Um, you might see a bundle in arms or something like that, but I don't think I'll be sharing pics of bubs at all. Um, for me, with yeah, for me with my children, I unless my kids said, "Yeah, I'll put me on camera," I would do it. But I think when I when my kids were first using Facebook and that. Most of the, I didn't actually want them putting their own pictures on Facebook. So, um, yeah, there's an interesting conversation to have about social media and uh, who accesses the data. That's an interesting conversation. Um, but basically, put it this: well, I won't put my my kids' photos or um, my grand or my future grandchildren's pictures up purely on the basis that. Um, I don't know whether they'll want it or not. Whether they'll, you know, yeah. It's their choice to put their pictures up. So you might get a picture of me and the, the back of the head or something like that type thing. Or me cutting something in a blanket. But you, I won't share pictures of the, the bugs themselves. But hanging to see. I see the bug. <laughs> but you know what? She's worth me. Okay. Uh, Kathy. So Kathy's done her usual big spiel um loves the sunnies and a, yes it is a very clean and pretty city um the quality wasn't too bad building working lovely and modern so what city do i work perth um now kathy's working on the cat i'm working on cat cleopatra and her drills are horrible tiny nubs on so many drills her knobbly bits gosh um 
always good to share happy to share Kathy Kathy's loving the walk with Bo neighborhood is quiet and lovely does Bo like to ride in the car yes he does like to ride in the car he loves it in the car um, when if we actually had the car door open he doesn't get in the car very often but when we have the car door if we have the car door open he will jump in when we took him where do we go we were going camping um, one time we went camping um, and we were taking him with us um, so like we have opened the car up and we've got the vehicle out and we're just about ready to go and pick up Bo, you know go inside grab Bo and put him in the car and we've gone um, I mean we, we reversed the car out and we bought a pile of car up with stuff and then it was like okay well let's get Bo and put him in the car and then we'll go because he's the last thing to put in the car because you don't you don't put an animal in the car for too long if you don't have to so we've gone to look for him and we can't find him so we've ended up thinking that he bolted down the street so we've walked down the street to go and box find him um gone one direction we've come back another direction and i've just suddenly looked at the car and there he is sitting in the car going you know i'm ready come on let's go <laughs> so he does he loves the car he absolutely loves the car so yeah my cat though boots um for our buddy um he was a totally different story kathy he was a totally different story he was a cat that um you put him in a car and he would weave so traveling with him in the car oh gosh um so thanks so yeah Bo is well behaved <laughs> and obviously that time when i'm eating the cashews here we go oh my god he makes us nice so adorable yum cashews <laughs> oh stay at home for at least another month in your state kathy wow through the end of June. Gosh, you guys will be getting a warmer weather now. You'll be itching to get out. Gosh. No, can't imagine. Cannot imagine at all. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for your comments. Really do appreciate them. I suppose I. Oh, I think this is like more than 20 minutes without adding anything in it. Um, I will say guys, thank you for, for tuning in again, spending a little bit of your time with me. I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying the shorter, shorter chat. I do go on a bit of a tangent sometimes. Um, I do find I have the other day where it's like there's absolutely nothing to record, nothing happens. <laughs> so guys, I will say thanks uh, for watching and I will catch you later. Hit the thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, leave me a comment, what are you doing?